there's a quote by Tom Petty where he says it's the only real magic that exists, and I, I absolutely agree. Music saved me, I guess I could say. My name is Christopher James Vassar. I'm a singer-songwriter. I grew up in Swift Current, Saskatchewan, and then I, uh, I moved away at 17 right out of high school and uh, moved to the big city because I didn't want to be in the small town. I wanted to chase my dreams. I actually wanted to be a, a filmmaker. I didn't get into film school in Calgary and just life happens and that's where I stayed for about 20 years. A bunch of stuff happened in 2018, including a divorce. I lost my job. I was dealing with some mental health issues. Kind of my world came crumbling down. So I moved back to Saskatchewan to kind of be a hermit and just close myself in, reboot, take another stab at it, which is exactly what I did. I just started looking at things differently and, and trying to push out the negative things out of my life, embracing everything that's positive. I found when I was rebooting, one of the big things that got me through, if not the main thing that got me through all my mental um, issues I was having a few years back was music. Music has been the constant my entire life. Music has always been there for me. When I first moved back here, I spent a lot of time just driving around. I was just started getting struck with inspiration everywhere I went around here and it was just blowing me away. Like I thought I was just going to come here, nice quiet place, recoup for a bit go out into the world, maybe I'll go to Montreal, maybe I'll go to Toronto, like I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then I just absolutely fell in love with Saskatoon. I really started feeling a really big connection to the land, the nature and the river and everything. And I just, and that's where Prairie Calls Me Home came from. The prairie started calling, calling me back home. Love and Divorce record was was almost like the closing of a chapter. There's two songs on there uh, that I wrote kind of when my divorce was happening and then afterwards as a kind of reflecting back. I think it's a good closing of a chapter but at the same time it's starting a music career, it's starting a life in Saskatoon, it's starting a relationship with a wonderful uh, partner and her children. But I've delved back into the mental health stuff a little bit too now that I feel like I, I'm more in control of it. I'm, I'm writing a little bit more about anxieties and, and depression and stuff like that because I do feel like it needs to be talked about more than it does. It's, there's a stigma around it which shouldn't be there. We just need to take care of it. When I pick up my guitar it just kind of it gives me a sense of calm and then when you start playing it and when you start getting into it, I mean some days you play it a bit and you're like nope put it down but almost every time I pick it up it makes me feel just better. It's been part of my healing process, for sure. Um, and I think everybody else can use it for that too. Like music saves lives, it really does. Like music can really be something that heals people. The warmth that you feel in the circles of musicians around here is just amazing and just, it's so personable and it's so close knit. And I love it, it's awesome. Um, but I feel like they've embraced me, it, it really does. Like I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm where, where I should be. Think about my good things